guys! In this video, I'll show you how to design some heart-shaped scales for 3D printing on mesh fabric, designed to fit Adafruit's NeoPixel light strands inside. We'll use Tinkercad to design the scales. Tinkercad is a free online 3D design program that's really easy to use. If this is your first time using Tinkercad, work through a couple beginner tutorials first to get the hang of moving around in the workspace. Create a new design and give it a name. I called mine Heart Armor. First, we'll model a rough shape of our NeoPixel strand dot. I measured one of the dots with my calipers and added a little extra room for glue and came up with some dimensions. Drag a box hole into your workspace and make it measure 30 millimeters long and 9.6 millimeters wide. Make it four millimeters tall. Scroll down in your shapes window and grab a half sphere. Make it 18 millimeters deep and 15 millimeters wide and set a height of seven millimeters. Convert it to a hole and align it with your box. Combine the two shapes. Now we have a cutout that we can use underneath our scale armor shapes, which will leave just the right amount of space for the light and the wires. Drag it out of the way for now. Also, I always like to copy and paste my design elements so I have a backup of the original in case I accidentally stretch it or lose track of it somehow. Next is time to create the scales. You can use any shape you want, but shapes that nest together nicely are going to look best. Drag your shape out into your workspace. Drag your light cutout hole into the middle of the shape and mess around with the size until it looks the way you want and fully covers the light dome while allowing the wire cutouts to extend on both sides. The Align tool can be useful here to get it lined up just right. That looks good. Tinkercad has a lot of great shapes to choose from, but they're all pretty simple and basic. I want a rounded top to my heart. Tinkercad doesn't have a tool for this, so we'll have to get a little clever. Drag another half sphere into your workspace. Think of this as a slicing tool. Whatever sticks out of the top of your half sphere will get sliced off. Move and drag and align until you get something that looks the way you want. Experiment. You can always redo this if you don't like it. That looks pretty good to me. Drag a box over your half sphere so that it's completely covered and the bottoms are aligned. Change your half sphere to a hole and then group the box and sphere to make a cutout. Now change this new cutout shape to a hole and group it with your heart shape to round off the top. Be sure your NeoPixel cutout still fits inside. That looks pretty good. I want a little more variation in my armor, so I'm going to make three slightly different sizes of hearts, just to make it look more interesting. I'll copy and paste and then resize by a couple millimeters. I'm going to keep the thickness the same for each size for this project. If the heart's too thick, the light won't shine through quite as well. Make sure your light cutout still fits nicely under all three sizes. Remember to be careful not to resize the light cutout. It's sized perfectly, it's just the hearts that we want to change. Once you're sure they all fit, align and combine each size with one of your cutouts. I like to make sure to keep one cutout in the corner, just to copy from. This is a great time to stop and do a test print to make sure you're happy with the different sizes and to be sure the lights fit and shine through nicely. Once you're happy, it's time to start creating your scale pattern. 
Use copy and paste to align your scales the way you want. If you're using the 2 inch pitch lights, try to keep the cutouts slightly less than 2 inches apart from each other so the lights reach from one scale to the next really easily. Once you're happy with your layout, group all the scales together and then export them as an STL file to send to your 3D print software. I'm using Cura as my slicing software. Import the model and choose your print settings. You'll want to print without support. We also want to tell the software to pause at about 2 millimeters so we can add the mesh fabric in. In Cura, you can do this under the Extensions menu option. Start your print job and it will pause at 2 millimeters. Secure a piece of mesh fabric firmly over your print bed with tape or clips and then resume the print. Once it's finished, use a knife to carefully slash the fabric in all the holes to make room for the NeoPixels. Use hot glue to press the pixels in place. Add some code and a battery and enjoy your glowing scale armor.